A feature that architects and designers have been finding workarounds for in Revit for years is the ability to represent some kind of depth in their elevation and sections. Revit 2017 has introduced a fantastic new feature called depth queuing, and it works very simply and very effectively. You just go to the elevation or section that you want, you open up your graphic display options dialog box, and in the depth queuing dropdown, you check show depth. Now, Revit is either going to look to your view extents or if you don't have a far clip set, it will look for the extent of the geometry in that view. Then it will progressively fade the model elements in the view to the fade limit percentage, this slider here. Zero means it's gonna fade it totally, and we can slide up to 100%, and it's not gonna fade it at all. Another slider we have is the fade start end location. And what this is going to tweak, if you don't want the fade to start until about the midpoint of your view, you can slide your near up to 50. That's going to give you very different results. And then vice versa, if you want the fade to be completely done at that midpoint, I can slide the far down to 50 as well. So any combination of those two sliders is going to give me very different looks, very different appearances, and it's going to really help those elevations pop and show me what's in front of other elements. Another nice feature that was never achievable with our old workarounds is that the depth queue will properly fade based on angle to the view plane. So I've got this elevation angle here, it's at 45 degrees, and I've got these elements that are not orthogonal to my view plane at all. But when I turn on depth queuing, the individual elements are gonna properly fade based on their angle and their distance to the view plane. 